Oh Tesla, this was horrible. Hi traders, welcome to my live trading session recap or should I say my worst ever trading session recap. Yes, that happened today. Take a look at the S&P. It's down 0.5%. Now at this point, I'm thinking the market should crash today. The S&P is down 0.5%. Nasdaq, as you can see here, is down 1%. And yesterday it was downtrending. And I'm thinking this should be a great day or a big losing day. Turned out to be it was my worst ever day. Looking at Tesla at that point, and I'm thinking Tesla is about to come down. It's a nice reversal. I should be shorting it. Now about to short 4,000 shares. And again, it's a nice reversal point. Shorted now. Now and I'm expecting it to continue and come down. So the only stock I took uh, on the short side that's a uh, fast forward right now in, in what happened to Tesla. So it's not the only one I took short. I took Neo and I took Boeing and I took Plug and um, <laughs> I actually forget uh, who else but uh, definitely thought the market is going to crash today and I'm on the short side of Tesla. So initially it worked out nicely, popped up, popped up a little bit here, but uh, the market's still coming down. And at that point, I think I should add, and I'm about to add another 4,000 shares. So take a look at uh, the nice downtrend just added. So I'm short 8,000, really believing in myself today. I had a huge success rate in Tesla in the past few weeks, 100% success rate in the past month, I think, which is amazing. Now I'm up uh, $20,000, uh, just touched the third, $30,000 mark or so at the lows but at this point as you can see Tesla is turning around and it's turning around because the market initially started to come down which was exactly like anticipated but then the market popped up a little bit now I, I was I was still hoping that the market will not move over the highs I was hoping that the market would come back to its senses and stop somewhere over there and come down again as you can see it's now moving higher now the market did continue to move higher. It just started moving higher over here. But again, it is very weak today. Nasdaq is down 1% and all my indication says that the market should not continue much higher, much over that point. But it actually did move a little bit over the highs. But at that point, I'm still hoping that the market would stop and start coming down. And uh, Tesla, as you can see right now, is going definitely going the wrong way. I was up 30,000, now I'm down 30,000. And I probably should have stopped it, but then came this spike and I was kind of hoping that uh, it's going to hold. I'm down $70,000 right now. And probably my worst ever uh, trading session, not, not, not just my trading session, but also in Tesla now touching the $100,000 mark down. So Tesla is going the wrong way. For some reason, I kept holding, hoping that it's going to come back. Now I'm closing my trade at around $90,000 stop loss. So that was a terrible trade in Tesla. Now take a look at the S&P. At that point, the S&P came up over the highs and turned down. And I was thinking that, well, now it's likely that it's going to probably likely that it's going to break down under the lows again. So I was again hoping that Tesla is going to fail and although it was trending higher I came to the fantastic idea that I should short it once more and I did right here. So shorted Tesla again. I was refusing to believe that I was wrong. That's the wrong thing, the wrong mindset. I came into the trading session today believing that I'm going to have a big down day. I mean, the market is going to come down strong and look at the spike up right now in Tesla, which is amazing. Now I'm still down another $70,000 or so. And there will be a point right over here, over eight, 680, where I will move out of this trade, finally realizing I'm not on the right side of the trade. Just moved out and closed it at another $80,000 stop loss also. And traders, here is the result. I'm down $219,000 down $181,000 in Tesla. And look at the rest. I've got a big loser in Boeing, although it did come down later. And Plug and Neo and Fubo. I mean, an amazingly bad day today. My worst ever. Now, take a look at Tesla's daily. I was saying this. And Tesla is trending lower recently and I thought Tesla should come down today because it was trending lower and it started down with a gap down. The market of course started down but Tesla did not come down. And look at the S&P 500. It did come down all the way down to the lows, touched the lows and bounced up again over the highs. So it really tricked, tricked him twice I should say although I wasn't there for the second time. And then later once I moved out of my trades then finally it did come down. Well, sometimes it's all about timing. And traders, 
I would really appreciate the thumb up. If you like to give us the thumb up for this video, we would really appreciate that. And um, I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you do like to subscribe to my videos, there's a button right here and you can click on the notification bell if you want to get uh, to be notified of my future uploads. And uh, well, sorry I didn't have much to teach you today other than what not to do. But you know, that's a part of the game. You make money, you lose money, trading is hard. And once in a while, you have this huge downside days like I had today. So thank you very much for watching. Stay green, stay safe, and I'll see you all tomorrow.